How do you guys choose your headphones? I mean, do you guys go through the technical details or do you just put headphones on and go, okay, this is a bad set of headphones, this is a good set of headphones? Well, if you're like me, you're probably the latter because we just don't know, we're just not audibly trained that way. But then something happened. I was at CES 2019 in Las Vegas. My friend Jace Bennett from the Ohana Adventure, we went to go see the creative booth and they showed us something called a holographic audio experience. And that is the difference between a good set of headphones and a great set of headphones. Let me show you what it's all about. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. And let me tell you why I'm excited about the Super x Air Bluetooth headphones. And it all has to do with holographic audio. How futuristic does that sound? But essentially what it is, it's the ability that they've somehow managed to do to create the feel that you're actually in a room and you get sound coming all around you. Now you might be thinking, this isn't new, we've got surround sound for quite a while. The difference between this and your regular surround sound is when you put regular headphones on, they tend to kind of squish the sound as fast as humanly possible into your ears. The problem is that we don't all listen to sound the same way. Our ears are shaped differently, our heads are shaped differently, and therefore sound doesn't travel in the same way across every single person. So what Creative has done is giving you the ability to map your ears, your face, and therefore it creates a sound profile for you. Using that sound profile, it then able to translate the music, the movies you're watching, the games that you're playing into making that feel that it's no longer coming in fast and furious and loud straight into your ears, but actually feels like you're in a room and things are much further away, but yet the quality is just ridiculous. Let's get into the details of the headphones themselves. So here they are. Let's go check these babies out even closer. So build quality is awesome. It is of course extendable. So if you've got a big noggin like mine, you can actually wrap this around your head, no problem. Right, left and right is clearly marked, so you're not gonna make that mistake. And the cushioning is nice, breathable material, so you can wear them for a while without getting hot. Um, side note, you can actually replace them as well with a different kind if you want to. Right, let's go deeper into these things. So on the left-hand side of the headphone to get the on-off button, you get a nano microphone, which is actually removable. More on that a little bit later. There you got your USB-C charging, and you've even got a line in 3.5 millimeter, you know, that aux cable kind of thing. So you can plug this into virtually anything. Now you've got the ability to swap between sources. Now the reason you need to swap the sources because it goes from Bluetooth to USB, it's even got a micro SD card built into this. So you can do play music straight from this. And here is the um, special holographic audio mode that you can enable a little bit later. Okay, let's power this thing up. And the first thing you'll notice is beautiful LED lights on both sides. And those are actually changeable. And I'll get into that also a little bit later in this video. Let's pair this device as per normal. You hold down the button a couple of times, LED light flashes, instantly make a connection. This is on my Google Pixel 3a. No problem, simply tap on it and now you're nice and connected. Right, next up, go download the SXFi app from the store. And the first thing you're gonna need to do is create yourself a head and ear profile. Now note, you will need some help here because snapping pictures of your own left ear, right ear and your front face and getting it perfectly to align in that circle is absolutely impossible. Right, now that that's all done and your profile's all set up, all you have to do on your headphone is tap this one button, the Super X5 button, and your holographic sound is coming at you. Right, next up, let's plug into our computer. So USB type C goes into the headphones, the other side goes into your computer, and you need to download this thing called the Super X5 Control, I think is the name of the app. It will all be available on their website. And then when you launch that, you're gonna have a couple of options for you to play with and really customize your experience. Firstly, you're gonna to have to log in. So it knows that this is your profile and it will download this to your computer. So again, you're always using your own profile for the maximum audio experience. You can switch it on and off straight from the button, both at the top and the bottom. 
You can even go and play with your equalizer. So you can say, okay, this is the kind of content I'm listening to. And as you can see, it will automatically start changing the wave patterns, giving you the best sound for it. Right, let's go back to flat. And right, next up, this is cool. You see that little LED at the bottom? Press on that. And now you can customize your LEDs on your own headphones to one of those RGB colors. Any one of those, simply click on it, click on save, and it will transfer that color straight to your headphone. So a bit of cool customization. And finally, you can go into your different types of setup. You got your stereo, your 5.1, and then your 7.1 for that amazing experience. Whoa, I've got to just stop the video here for two seconds. You know, when sound is originally engineered and mastered for being surround sound, so it's already designed from the outset to be able to play like it's coming in all around you. That's one thing, and then this augments that even further, and it sounds even more amazing. That's kind of easy, in inverted commas, dare I say that. But when something is recorded in just stereo, left and right, and then this thing is able to take that music, take those notes, take that speech, take those vocals and split them up and make it sounds like it's coming all around. That is just absolutely mind blowing. But it gets even more ridiculous when something is recorded in mono, like a flat. And it, so it's not actually meant to even go left and right. And it's still able to split out those sounds and then kind of make it playing like it's coming all around you. That is absolutely just wow. Uh, okay, back to the video. In the headset itself, you've got some gesture controls. You can swipe up to raise the volume, swipe down to lower the volume. You can swipe to the left and swipe to the right, which is basically your next track, your previous track, your next music, your previous music, and you can answer calls as well. Remember, since this does take a micro SD, it is a good way to navigate around those music collections as well. Now, here's a bonus little thing, which I'm not sure Creative had in mind, but uh, it works really well. The Nano Boom mic can actually be pulled out and you can see it's got three rings. So I stuck it into my Google Pixel 3 to the headphone jack and it can actually be used as an external mic and really augmenting the sound on your phone as well. When you're done, stick it back into the headphone and you're back in business. Two things before you rush off. Firstly, if they're going to make an iteration of this, I would love to see if they could make these things swivel. You know, when it swivels in, and you can kind of have wear this more comfortably around your neck otherwise you do feel like you're getting a little bit of a neck squeeze there the second thing is that i would maybe look at doing is that it does have a great battery saving feature which it switches off after x number of minutes of non-usage so whilst that is great to save to your battery the problem that i'm finding is if i have this connected to my work computer but i happen to have um, a phone call or be doing some other work that doesn't require music it then switches off and I got a re Bluetooth connect to my laptop. So that is a little bit of a pain. I really wish there was a bit of an override feature that I could double tap and say, ignore the timeout for the next while. And yes, it will be on me if I drain my battery. So two little feedback for creators. Overall, I love this thing. I'm going to use it across lots of different devices. And I like the fact that it's that versatile. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Smash the head below to subscribe if you like this kind of content. Check out some of these other cool videos over here and I'll see you over there.